here they are uh, talking about Governor DeSantis. And again, getting rid of woke gender ideology from one African-American studies course, but look at what they extrapolate out of that. Because what they're doing with all of these memes and shtick is they're kind of softening up the electorate for some really bizarre things that they want to do, banning yeah. LGBTQ books nationwide. That's big, big government. Yeah, it would be funny if it wasn't so dangerous because they are in power and they might have even more power in 2024. Look, on, on immigration, this is a party whose most recent achievement was to separate innocent children from their parents, many of those kids never to be reunited again. And that is actually a policy they would likely pursue. On this banning books issue, and I've got to say, it's, it's not just Marjorie Taylor Greene and George Santos, it is Ron DeSantis and other governments. Let's yeah. break down the absurdity. And I honestly think you got to attack the absurdity of it. First and foremost, this is a group of people that believe reading a book can make you gay. Think about it. That, that's their biggest concern. If you read a book, you might decide you're gay. They think the solution to what they see as societal ills is big, big government. It's the governor right. of Florida telling you specifically what books you can read. It's the government deciding specifically right. what teachers can teach. It's literal government thought control. This is incredible. This is, this is absolutely incredible today. Is it because it's a Monday? It, it's a Monday thing or something like that. Every single thing that they say is a lie. They love big government control. Okay, first off, the guy's a former congressman, so that makes me feel good. David Jolly is a former Republican congressman who now goes on MSNBC, tells you all, need, all you need to know about this guy. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just move past uh, Mr. Jolly there. Uh, the books that they are referring to no one thinks that the book is going to make you gay, you morons. What they don't want is in many of these books, they are literally teaching kids what apps to download to go have anonymous sex with strangers and how to give hand jobs and blow jobs. And I suppose if you were gonna have that book in the class, you could also have Don Lemon's book, There Are Ways Not to Perform Oral Sex by Don Lemon. I suppose if they put both of those books together, then we'd have an actual functioning library with a diverse set of ideas but everything they say is a lie. The state is in control of what books you can read. That is how it works. So generally, conservatives and Republicans want more school choice. For some reason, these people want pornographic books in the kindergartens. I don't know why, that would be something to ask them.